Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm so happy that you're here. So for today's video, I thought I would film my makeup collection since I have been getting a lot of requests for this video. You guys want to see what kind of makeup I have, how I store it, so I thought that I would just film this for you guys real quick and you guys can get a glimpse into all of the makeup that I have and how I store it. So without further ado, let's just get started because as you can see, there's a lot of makeup and it's going to take a while to get through it all. So this is my vanity and this is where I keep all of my makeup. You can see that it's sort of taking up most of my vanity tabletop. So over here, I just have this little canister where I hold my eyelashes that I've worn like once or maybe twice and can still get some use out of. So I just leave those in there. Then I also have my Hard Candy Brow Powder Duo on the side here. Next we have two NYC Individual Eyes eyeshadow palettes. These I got a very long time ago, but I do believe they're still being sold. So that's what I have there. And then this is an Alme eyeshadow palette that I've had for a very long time. It was actually my sister's and then she gave it to me. It's Intense Eye Color. I actually didn't use this for my eyes. I actually just used this dark brown shade as a contour at one point and it worked really, really well. Next we have some facial creams. This one is a daytime cream and it's by Garnier. It's the Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. This is for normal to combination skin. This product is good in the sense that it does moisturize your skin, but if you have sensitive skin, I would not recommend this product because it did cause me to break out a little bit. Next, we have the Garnier Night Cream and this is the Garnier Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream and it's for anti-aging and anti-fatigue night cream and this product is really good. I really do like it. I find that when I sleep with this cream on after I've done my nighttime routine, my skin is very supple and very like glowing in the morning so I do really like this and it doesn't cause me to break out either like the day cream does so I do like this product. Next we have my foundations all lined up on the side here. First we have my Makeup Forever foundations. I have a few different shades because being brown my skin color does change throughout the season. So this is the shade that I am currently and it's the Y405 or 153. So this is the shade that I am right now. Towards the end of the summer this is the shade I was using and it's the N170. They've changed the way that they label their shades so N170 is now why something i'm not too sure but you can find it online and this darker shade i've never actually used it i just got it um during the summer to mix with my other foundation and this is the shade 177 so y505 but i haven't actually used this one so i don't really know how dark it is on my skin but looking at it like i know it's kind of too dark but i can always mix it with another foundation to make it suit my skin better during the summertime because they do get quite dark during the summer and then over on the sides here we have my maybelline fit me foundations so the first one we have is the matte and poreless foundation and this is in the shade 310 Sun Beige. The next one I have is also Fit Me. It's This one's a different formula. This is Hydrate and Smooth. And this is in the shade 310 as well, Sun Beige. The thing with this one though, I find that it gives my skin um, kind of an oily finish and I don't really like that. So I don't use this one too often. The next one we have is also Matte and Poreless and this is a different shade. This is 230 called Natural Buff. And this is a lighter shade than the 310. This is like some nail polish or something when I was doing my nails, I guess I got it on there. But yes, so this is a lighter shade and this I use during the winter time when I'm really, really fair. And then in the very back, we have my darker shade, Matte and Poreless, and it's the 330 Toffee Caramel. So this one's actually quite dark. Um, it doesn't look that dark in the actual packaging, but... On my skin, it does show up kind of darker than I am right now, but I know this shade will be perfect for me in the summertime. So that's why I'm holding on to it. So those are all my foundations. Over here on the side, we have some of my nighttime products. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. I love this stuff for cleansing my face. And then for actual makeup remover, I use the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. This stuff is amazing. Like, I absolutely fell in love with it. I don't even know how to describe it to you guys. I'll do a video where I actually use it and show you my nighttime routine. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know, guys, and I'll definitely do that for you. So over in this little section here, we have, like, a lid. 
And then we have my sponges. So I just recently got the Beauty Blender and by recent I mean like two days ago. I just picked this up and I've already used it and I have to do a review on this comparing it to the Miracle Complexion Sponge because I don't know, I just found that there were some differences and I really want to share my opinion with you guys. And then I have my Miracle Complexion Sponge that's kind of dirty, um, but yes, I keep that in there. I need to wash my sponge. And then I have just a few little black sponges and this I use if I'm ever baking. And then at the very bottom, I have like a primer, I guess. Yeah, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. It's just a sample. I haven't used it. I should probably use that. So, yeah. That's what I have in this little compartment. And then over here in this little section here, we have eyebrow and eyeliner products. Mostly eyebrow stuff. Um, so we have my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. We have my Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara. We have my actual eyeliner, my Maybelline Master Precise. We have, we have my eyebrow powder brush. Just like a whole bunch of eye products. And then on the side here, we have lip liners. Most of my lip liners are from Revlon. I absolutely love the Revlon Colorstay lip liners. I don't know why, I just find that they are so good for my skin tone. Like, they're really true to color, and they are very flattering on my skin tone. So I have pretty much all of the shades of the Revlon Colorstay liners. Um, and I like to actually turn my lip liners upside down so I can see the colors. This one, I guess my sister used because it's out of place. And then, so I have them separated. I have like the pinks and the reds on this side and I have the nudes on this side. So you can see I have a lot of nude lip liners. This one's upside down. There we go. So yes. And then in this next little compartment over here, we have my eyelash curler, which is a really old one. Maybe need to get a new one. And then I have my tweezer in here as well, like way in the bottom. And I have a pencil sharpener. So that's all in that little section there. And then in the back here, I have my candy bag. These are the eye candy glitters that I got at iMats this year. I haven't actually used these yet. I want to do a tutorial with them and just show you guys how to use glitter if you ever are doing a glitter eyeshadow look. So I will definitely do that. And these colors are gorgeous. I guess maybe, I don't know, I want to find something to do with these so I can show you guys. But for now, that's where I keep them. And then in the back, I have my blush brush brushes. I have two brushes for blush and they're just like these thick angled flat top brushes. So that's what I use for blush. And then over here I have some other brushes, my fan brush, my eye brushes, lip brushes. These are the brushes that I don't really use too often so they're sitting over here. So that's everything in this little tray here. This tray I actually got from Walmart and I love it. It has so many different size compartments and it fits all of my makeup really really nicely so I do like this. I believe it was around $20 at Walmart which isn't too bad since it does hold everything and it's beautiful like it's clear and it has different size compartments so I can fit all my different makeup so I do really really like it. Then in the back here we have where I keep my eyeshadows. Like this is a whole eyeshadow, guys. I have a lot, but I love my eyeshadows, so I just love them. To store my eyeshadow palettes, I'm actually using this letter holder that I got from the dollar store. Um, so this one letter holder thing, it comes with different compartments as well. So you have the front part that just holds like some of my eyeshadow palettes, and then you have another little section here that holds my contour and blush palette. And then it has like little cubbies at the top where I guess you're supposed to keep like pens and pencils and other desktop utensils but I just keep my brushes obviously. So in the first section we have my new CoverGirl True Naked eyeshadow palettes. I have the roses one and the nudes one. I did see the Goldens palette but it wasn't really one that I could see myself using so I didn't pick it up. But these two I know I will use. I love the pigmentation of them. I love the colors in the palettes. So I have these. So those are the first two palettes. And then behind there, I have my Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palette. And this is 738 Comfort Zone. And it has a whole bunch of like browns and nudes and some greens as well, which I love. What else? And then I have my Maybelline Nudes palette that has gotten a lot of love on my channel. Back here, we have the Hard Candy eyeshadow palette. And this is the birthday suit one, I believe. 
yes, birthday suit. It has a lot of different colors, beautiful shades, and I was so excited to try this palette when I got it, but I was kind of disappointed because the colors are kind of chalky and they aren't very pigmented, so I was a little disappointed, but I can still make it work. This shade right here is really, really good for a transition color, so I still use this palette, but I don't reach for it as much as I would like to, especially with these colors. I would have loved if the formula of the shadows were a little better, but it's okay, it's workable. And then I also have in this section my e.l.f. blush palette, and this is the light palette. So, and then you can see this is where the eyeshadows go, and then behind them I have my Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. And it has a lot of different blushes in it, they're all matte, they're all really highly pigmented. This I actually got online off of Amazon. I will try to find the link and leave it in the description box if you guys are interested in getting it. They are highly, highly pigmented, so if you're using them, a little bit goes a very long way with this palette. And then behind that, I have my Pro Fusion Contour Palette. And it's really good. It has two highlighters, it has two contours, and it has some brushes in it. I really, really do like this palette. I'm going to try and find it online for you guys, and hopefully you can pick it up because it's really, really good. And then as I mentioned before, just some brushes. These brushes are here because I don't really use them, but obviously I want to keep them out because you never know when you'll need them. So you can see this is just like a desktop organizer for letters and files and like pens and pencils, but I use it for makeup. And then in the back, we have more eyeshadow palettes. I actually just picked up this Tartlet in Bloom palette. I love it. I'm going to be doing a review slash swatches of this soon, so keep a lookout for that. Then I have a little Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette that I got as a gift for my birthday. So these are the colors in the Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette, and you can see they're very like a smoky rose color, which I love. I'm really excited to use this. Then I have a Sephora Collection Ombre Obsessions palette, which I also got as a gift, and I am in love with this palette. It is so beautiful. So you guys can see that it is an ombre style eyeshadow palette. We have the dark brown going to lighter brown going to a sort of shimmery pale white color. And then we have like a green, teal, dark blue. And we have purple. It's just so beautiful. Such a gorgeous palette and I can't wait to play with this. And then behind all of that we have my three Morphe eyeshadow palettes. This is the 35B. Then we have 35E. And then we have the 35T palette as well. So I have them in alphabetical order, so I don't need to really look at them when I'm picking them up. I just know which is which. And then behind that, we have my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. I am in love with this palette. The pigmentation, the colors, everything are so beautiful. I love, love, love this palette. And this little holder that I have is actually a napkin holder that I got from the dollar store, but I just thought it was perfect for holding my eyeshadows. Like... It's clear, it's beautiful, it's flexible so that I can fit a whole bunch of palettes in there. You can see my Urban Decay eyeshadow palette just sort of sits in the back there. And then behind that I have this sort of picture frame that I turned into an eyeshadow palette. So it's one of those picture frames that opens up completely. So this is what I did. I have some individual eyeshadows in here. These are Morphe eyeshadows. And I just sort of glued some magnets on the back and then stuck them on. Like you can see the magnet behind. I just glued that into the picture frame and then put the eyeshadows on top. So I can also do a DIY on this palette just to show you guys how I make my own eyeshadow palette. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know as well and I can do that for you. And then in the very back here, we have my e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and it is my favorite palette was my first eyeshadow palette that had a whole bunch of colors and I really like it. And then over here we have a little cup. It's like a plastic cup and I put a few vase filler beads in there. And this is where I keep my makeup brushes that I use on a regular basis. So then when I'm doing makeup, I just take this cup, put it beside me and just use these brushes. And then we have the rest of my individual Morphe eyeshadows here in this little bag. I have to actually put these into that palette that I just showed you guys but I haven't gotten around to doing it just yet, so they're just sitting in this bag for now. And then behind there, I have my L'Oreal True Match, and this is in the shade N6, which is Honey Beige. Then we have my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. We have my Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Setting Spray. And we have this little spray bottle, and this is just water. The reason I have this is because whenever I'm using my Beauty Blender or my Miracle Complexion sponge, I don't want to keep running to the sink to run it under some water, so I just use this to just squirt some water onto the sponge, and then it's super convenient for me. And then in the very back here, we have some Victoria's Secret 
dry shampoo and I don't really use this too often I don't really like dry shampoo but it's here just in case for those odd occasions when I do need it and then this little holder this little plastic holder here I actually got from the dollar store so this is from Dollarama and I think it was like two bucks so very very handy to keep just like random things and then over here we have all of my different lipsticks we have some Milani we have a MAC one we have my cudgel we have some Maybelline Kate Moss lipsticks, um, some NYC lipsticks. Then in the back here, we have all of these Wet n Wild lipsticks um, in the front. So the front two are just a mismatch of lipsticks just because I don't have a lot of them. We have some NYX um, Intense Butter Glosses. These two are some great shades. Then in the back here, we have all of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks and a few Gerard Cosmetic liquid lipsticks as well. So in the back here, we have some of these plastic organizers. These I just picked up from the dollar store. I do believe they're three bucks a piece from Dollarama, but they're really, really convenient because they have these little slide out drawers and they're the perfect size to store my makeup. So I have them stacked on top of each other. This first one here, the top has all of my um, facial primers as well as my eye shadow primers. So the top one is all primers. The second drawer is mascara and liners. So I have my gel liner here. I have my backup master precise. I always need to have a backup. I don't want to run out of makeup and not have it if I need it. This third drawer has just a few randoms. It has um, some transition eyeshadows, it has my translucent finishing powder, it has a highlighter, bronzer, um, this I also use as bronzer, so yes, that's what I have in the third drawer. This entire box here is eyelashes. So in the first drawer, I have my eyelash adhesive, the Ardell Lash Grip. This is the clear one, and I have my little eyelash tweezer that came with one of my eyelashes, eyelash sets. So in the top drawer, I have my number one eyelashes. These are the dramatic ones, so I just keep that in the top. In the second drawer, I have my number 11s and number three. So the number 11s are a little more dramatic. Um, they're kind of like the Demi Wispies, except they have more lashes in them, so they are more full. And then the number three are very much like the Ardell Demi Wispy lashes, and they're very natural looking. So I keep those two in the second drawer. In the bottom drawer, I actually have the Ardell Demi Wispy lashes. So I have two packs, just in case, you never know. And then in the bottom, I also have my Ardell Brush On Lash Adhesive. So those are the two compartments that I have over here. On this side, we have my NYX Professional Makeup Makeup Holder. And I love this, I got it free when I purchased my first set of NYX stuff. So if you just open it up, all of the drawers slide out, which I love. So in the top one, I have a few different powders that I got from a friend. And then I have some primers as well as the lock. So if I want to lock this up, I can. In the second section, I have my MAC Oh Darling highlighter, which I absolutely love. It is a gold toned highlighter and it's gorgeous. I also have some Benefit Cosmetic highlighters as well as my matte finishing spray from NYX and I have a backup NYX micro brow pencil in the shade brunette. So in the bottom I have my NYX matte bronzer and I have my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. This is a loose translucent powder and I just use this to set my concealer. So that's what I have in my NYX professional makeup container. On the bottom I have one of those storage cases from the dollar store again. In the top drawer here I have all of my concealers. I have my LA Girl Pro Conceals that I use for contour, and I also have my Age Rewinds. I have my NYX Dark Circle Concealer, which is amazing for those days when my dark circles are just really bad. In the second drawer, I have more lashes. I have the Kiss Ever Easy number 11s. I should probably put that with the other 11s, but anyways. And then I have a few Annabelle Trio eyeshadows. Um, I don't really use these too often, which is why they're on the side here. And then on the bottom, I have some more lashes that has some Morphe lashes. I have some MAC eyelashes in the back here. So these are all things that I don't really use too often. So that's it for my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked seeing everything that I have and how I store it. Most of my storage products are from the dollar store. I just find different uses for them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave that in the comment section down below and I'll definitely do that for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.